and welcome to our first class for the trimester. Our topic for the week is rocks and minerals. You see rocks everywhere around you in the environment in form of stone, pebbles and even sand grains, right? But have you ever wondered where these rocks come from or how they are formed or what they really are? Well, a rock is a solid collection of minerals. Yes, there are two things to note here in this definition. First off, a rock is a solid and then it is a collection of minerals. The entire surface of the earth is made up of rocks. Yes, the ground you walk on is made up of rocks. Even in the rivers, there are rocks underneath the rivers, right? Now, the minerals found in rocks are made from combining different elements. Sometimes these rocks can be made from minerals of the same elements also Okay, so when elements combine they form minerals and when minerals combine they form rocks An element is the smallest form of matter and it cannot be broken down into smaller pieces Hence it is the smallest like the definition says right so it cannot be further broken down You can see different sizes of rocks on this picture right so rocks can come in different forms different shapes there are currently 94 naturally occurring elements of the periodic table in the world although in the periodic table we have about 118 now combining certain elements will produce certain minerals that means there are specific elements that come together to form specific minerals right not just any element forming any minerals now when you further combine certain minerals to produce certain rocks for example um, limestone is an example of a rock and it's made from elements like calcium carbon and oxygen hence the formula CaCO3 now rocks can be big or small in this picture this rock is really big right and here the rock is small they can be rough or smooth here in the picture the rocks are smooth right they can be flat or round just like here the the rocks are flat in the previous picture they were round it was round rather right now rocks can also be circular or triangular yes they come in different shapes varying shapes all right like as you can see in the picture right now rocks can be black also or white it means that they have varying colors so we have these variabilities about rocks Okay, now let's go further to learn some examples of rocks. First off, there are three types of rocks, right? Now, they come in many different forms and have different properties. Ignos rocks differ in property from sedimentary and from metamorphic. Now, some examples of ignos rocks are obidian, granite, basalt, and gabbro. Some examples of sedimentary rocks are sandstone, limestone, conglomerate, and shale, depending on how they are formed, right? And examples of metamorphic rocks are schist, sorry, that's a typographical error, schist, marble, and gneiss. Now, we'll now look at, we we'll compare a rock with a mineral. You can see from this picture, a mineral looks shiny compared with a rock, like here. Now, this is an example of a mineral, so beautiful, all right? They look polished, yes. Minerals are actually refined, polished, okay? Now, a mineral is a naturally occurring substance with distinctive chemical and physical properties. Their physical and chemical properties are distinct. They're exact. They don't share. They're not common amongst themselves. They are made from the same elements or a combination of elements. Now, there are over 3,500 known minerals on the Earth's surface. That's quite a number, you agree, right? Now, of this number, only about 100 of these are found commonly around the Earth. Surprisingly, right? Out of 3,500, only 100 found around the Earth. Geologists have developed several systems for identifying and naming minerals. Why is that so? Because minerals are difficult to identify. Now, an example is the strict test. You have different tests by different scientists or other geologists. Now, these tests are used to identify minerals using their color, their shape, and their structure. 
you can see here that they have different structures different shape different color but the best way to identify an element or a mineral is to look at its chemical makeup under a microscope of course a compound microscope all right now when minerals grow their atoms come together in an orderly repeating pattern and form a crystal structure hence their shiny appearance that's why they shine they they, they glitter they glow Crystals look like three-dimensional shapes. You can see some examples on the board. Most deadly minerals by geologists. Okay. Now each type of mineral has its own specific type of crystal shape. Now some examples of minerals are quartz, talc, mica, feldspar, copper, and diamond. By their shape, you just know them. Just like in the Bible, we say by their fruits we shall know them. Yes, by their shapes we shall know them too. Geologists often use the shape of a mineral crystal as a way as a way of identifying them. Now, a gemstone is the best and the most beautiful part of a mineral crystal. Did you know that? A gemstone is a very beautiful mineral. They are often sought out and mined specifically to sell as featured parts of jewelry. Yes, you've seen those jewelry diamonds rubies name them because gemstones are valuable because of their beauty and because they are they are rare and difficult to find all right and they're also very expensive by the way so gemstones are examples of minerals some more popular gemstones are diamonds rubies sapphires and emeralds have you seen any of these before well i have seen a diamond i don't i don't know that it's real but i think i saw something that really glowed like diamond now we'll see some more examples of rocks and minerals on the screen you just go through we have opalite agate dolomite gypsum and jasper some others they're not listed by me now diamonds are usually clear clear glassy almost colorless beautiful minerals okay now it's quiz time let us see how much you understand all the concepts all that have been taught in this class do you remember all that you have learned so far were you listening to the video or you were just carried away by the beautiful pictures that you saw it's time to test your understanding you have three to five seconds before you answer all right so kudos no spying no asking of questions let's get started are you ready because i am ready okay it's like who wants to be a millionaire game show <laughs> so the first question is what are rocks made of what are rocks made of you can guess that right they are made of what minerals kudos if you got that very good next question let's go minerals are made up of different dash what are the things that make up minerals do you know that correct answer is what elements beautiful did you get that then well done well done next question let's see who gets this an example of a rock is dash a granite b diamond what do you think is it diamond no it is granite granite an example of a rock diamond is an example of a mineral remember and and the last question is an example of a mineral is dash a copper b marble of course, you know that the correct answer is what? Copper. Copper. Copper is an example of a mineral. So kudos to you for successfully attempting the quiz. See you next week. And until then, it is a goodbye from me to you. And it is me saying, stay safe, be a good character kid. Goodbye.